Mark Robin Williams has just landed in Australia as guest at Channel 9. He's going to be with Bert tomorrow night at the Logies. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> and tonight, we're lucky enough to have him with us. How about a big greeting? First time in Australia, Mr. Robin Williams. Yeah. Are those yours? No, I stole these. Chased a man a mile. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new thing in, in America, isn't it? Everybody's roller skating. Everybody in disco. California's on wheels, man. It's really mellow. Yeah. <laughs> People are on other things, too, but that's you can't talk about that. Yes, I guess. It's being a wow, Tommy. Mm -hmm. Pass out, take some acid, and look at the sun go. <laughs> <laughs> Members of the band are getting off on that. Yes. Right. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Let's all get down, get funky. <laughs> you know that is? You know he's doing that? It's a, that's Lawrence Welk. You know Lawrence Welk? Oh, it's a bad impression. You didn't have to yes. tell him. It's no, 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 no. They don't, they don't think they're too familiar with Lawrence Welk. It's all right. It's too late now. I, I've done badly. I must leave. <laughs> Look, that tells us when we're not funny. Yes? I must leave now. Yes? <laughs> what is it saying to you there? Look. Ooh. Uh, no. <laughs> Somebody's fantasy. <laughs> Shut up, don't bother him. Yes. Don't. Look at the size of that thing. Put that away. <laughs> Whoa, that was incredible, your interview with Muhammad Ali. Did you like that? The yes, king sir. was here. That was yes. outrageous. Funny. I just sat in the back going, oh, Howard. Yeah. Yeah. They, you're, sort of, you're sort of like a cult figure in Los Angeles. There's a lot of people following you around doing it, but he has that same sort of thing. There's a, oh, there's a, a little cult bigger, I think. Yeah. No, 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 but I mean, there are people that like him as a fighter, but there are also people that appreciate oh, yeah. his humor and his uh, charisma. You know, there's people that understand that. that he's powerful. He's about, he was yeah. wonderful. That was great to see him just talk mm -hmm. about his early days. Speaking of, there's a, Superman is your best friend. Yeah, we went to school. That today. sounds weird, but Superman is your best friend. Not that best, but we're close. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never doing that way. It's a lie. <laughs> Pictures in the National Enquirer, those were, those were dumbed, I didn't know. <laughs> Christopher um, Reeve, and you went to school together, didn't you? Yeah, we went to school at Juilliard together with Mr. Hausman, who was a... You know John Hausman? Yes. He was, a, he was our headmaster. Ah. You look at me like, once again, I've no, done something I was, wrong. Because, no, I was thinking to myself, I read, I read in a thing about that you and he were both going to be Shakespearean actors. Yeah, we were both training to be classic. Look where we ended up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he took the right course. Look what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Parents keep moving and changing the address because of that. I don't know. Here, J Robin, you do a you do a live act because um, uh, to quote something, it says it helps you keep your sanity. And yeah. even though you're a big star now, you like working all these little places, oh, the improvisational way. places where you can do comedy and things. Yeah, to keep performing live. Yeah, it keeps me alive. I just keep. Oh wait, two things at the same time. Yes. It just keeps uh, contact with people is very important because if not, if you just you get dead, you don't take chances anymore. And for me, that's very important. You think television is stifling? I mean, being in a series like that, I mean, it's very funny. It looks like you do creative things, and don't you do ad lib things? On oh yeah, we uh, about a third of the show is improvised. We play mm. and work on different things, especially if the script needs help. They'll let me. They'll give like five minutes ago. Give it to the kid. Yeah. <laughs> give him an object. He'll play with. Okay, well. Okay. That you looks... do that? You mean you just take objects and play with them? Well, certain things, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, no. <laughs> Look, Mr. Lane, we represent. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> give you something. Yeah. That's a chintzy object. Yes. Look, a map. <gasps> Part one. Oh, cried John as he opened the glo and the glory of his manhood filled the. Oh, we can't just. Do... <laughs> <laughs> Wrong book. <laughs> do this. Oh, what else can we do here? Yes. Look at that quick impression. Oh, I can do it. No, I can't do that. I'll no, you do can't. An impression of a we'll leave it go. Yes. <laughs> oh, what a day. <laughs> That'd be really bad taste. We got other objects. What? I wonder. When you were working. Now. Wait, yes. Too late. Cameras can't follow me now. <laughs> you didn't know there was a stair here, did you? <laughs> Let's look up here. Yes. All right. Look. What is this? An ancient Egyptian thing. It says here it's from Nefertiti to Ramses saying, Not tonight, it's my pyramid. <laughs> What 
Tommy. Oh, an impression of an old and ancient phonograph record. <laughs> you think we get paid to do this? Let's look over here. Pull. I still respect you. It's too much. We keep wondering. You well? do not. So you do. You Sit do. Down, you? No, no, no. There are some things there that I wanted to do. Here, your, your props down here. They tell me you do different oh, characters. What are the characters mine, you do with us? Then it looks like it's a setup. That's all right. All right. Sure, they're yours. The I wanted to see what you do. Yeah. All right. Do you want to see some of the things we do? All right. Yes. We'll try them. One girl's there going. Let him go. Let him try. <laughs> I'd like to see a yank make a fool of him. But wait a minute. Oh, look. Wait. You have a lot of you have a lot of little friends, don't you? Yes, there are many Little people, tiny people. Yes. inside me. Shut oh, up! I know what I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute, I have a better idea. Why don't we discuss schizophrenia? All right. Well, yes. uh, give me a chance. Shut up. Let him talk. I don't know. Now we're all in here. Let me be the spokesman. Yes. Oh, yes. Good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See, we can do all oh, this. Is a hat. We'll have to fix this right now. Right. One of the props broke. We'll have to take a brief moment here to fix this. Mm -hmm. These are glasses, so when you go to China and you can get stoned, they won't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We can go into the audience and do horrible things. <laughs> See, here's a poem for people on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, reality, what a concept. <laughs> here's a poem for any psychics in the audience. This is first a psychic joke. If there are any psychics, this is for you. <laughs> is it true that you do an impression of uh, Joan Sutherland imitating Rod Stewart? Oh, yes, it's... Um, <laughs> this is... It's new from KTL Productions. It's Joan Sutherland. <laughs> Joan Sutherland sings Rod Stewart's greatest hits. If you think I'm sexy, I'm just... <laughs> uh, this is fun now, Mr. Lynn. Yes, yes. And you've become, you've become a cricket fan. Oh, yeah, I'm just learning how to play that. I mean, not, I watch. I don't understand yet. Mm. Many East Indian Pakistani and they feel. Yeah. <laughs> they beat the English, though. We go home. I crazy. <laughs> Got big time. We left all the way home to Pakistan. Do you, do you understand some of the terms? No, I just no? watch and go, whoa. <laughs> I see this man run from 30 feet back, throw a ball, and I go, oh, damn, damn, I missed that. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't know. I'm, they're like the wickets, and then there's many people spread out all over the field, and there's a referee that goes, <laughs> and lots of yabos in the stands go, damn, do it right. <laughs> You got it. That's all you have to know. Yeah, right? just bring an esky and sit in the stand. It's, you know, I'm <laughs> this is uh, this is something that uh, I think would make any person in uh, in show business envy. It's the cover of Time magazine. Did you ever imagine it would get to that? That's uh, no. It's still a little strange. That's that is of... incredible. How how big is uh, is Morgan Midday in the States now? How big is it rating? I guess it's one. I'm in in a week. Go back and find out. I'm sorry, it's been cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> a trip, a little American trick. Um, what happens to you? There must be a big difference between. The old days, which would be, what, a year ago <laughs> or something, or a year yeah, and a half ago. About a year and, and a half ago. Uh, and now the people's reaction to you in the streets and things. It's nice. People are very pleasant. The only time it was scary was when I was surrounded once by about 150 people, little children at a baseball game. Yeah. And that's scary because they're going, Give me an autograph now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll tear off your kneecaps. Do it quick. <laughs> and you have to wade through them and they all go, ah. That was very scary. Henry, Henry, Winkle was on this, Henry Winkle was on this program and he was adamant about... Uh, losing the identification of Fonzie with himself because he oh, feels yeah. as an actor it wouldn't do it. Are you worried about that with Mork? Do they no. approach you as Mork or do they approach you as... Uh, as yeah, most, I mean, you can't blame it, especially with kids because it's associable, especially the words and stuff. Mm. You can't get in here, get away, you know. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm melting. <laughs> no, it'd be really cruel. No. Uh, that's why I also have the act and I'd also do other things and other characters. So I, just for my own sanity, that's what I meant about keeping my sanity so I don't just get locked up doing that. Mm. And you do, usually the, the big move for everybody in, uh, in the business is uh, when you become popular, you do all those big talk shows in America. And I understand that they told me today, this is the first talk show you've ever done. Yeah. What, are you afraid of them or, or do you just... No, it's not that scary. You don't understand. You don't hear the voices like I do, do you? <laughs> <laughs> 
Shh, it's all right. You haven't seen that movie either, have you? No, no. <laughs> um, no, I haven't done them because of, not, not because of fear, because it's just putting together pieces for them. And I don't know, uh, with, in America, since I'm on once a week, it, it could be really easy to overexpose yourself real quick. Mm. And be, even people think, that's him. Come on, Marlene, let's go back and jumpstart Grandpa. Turn off the television. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, for, for all of the... Uh, we'll see you at the Logie Awards tomorrow night. And thank you for coming in now, because it's been a pleasure meeting you. But would you like to say uh, something to all the people from outer space that may be watching and not willing to admit that they are and uh, whatever? Really people at home who don't know? Yeah, there are some, yes. There are a few? Yes. We're not alone? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do-da, do-da. <laughs> 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 You'll see him at the Logies tomorrow night. We'll be back with John English and Mario Media.